Hey guys, welcome back. We are here at Paris RV doing a little kick around. <laughs> Jesse's overlooking, of course, at the big gargantuan trailers. Uh, but I spotted these little guys. Kind of a vintage throwback. Reminds me of a going down the coast, beach hopping kind of unit. So I am showcasing these today. got a text from Kara saying that she found one to check out so I'm coming over here I guess she's at these Cortez campers I've never seen these before these are pretty dang cool you in here hey you made it yep what you got here I'm just checking out this little trailer all the little features of it it's pretty cute it, it, it's a cute little thing for yeah. sure right away you can see it is minimal but has a multi-function to it. Overhead, kind of a fancy little twist method. <laughs> Dark, but full length of uh, storage there for you. This little trailer has a nice cooking area. You're getting everything you need. This sink has all the accessories you need. Look at that. Pretty deep. It is quite deep. We have this nice little strainer slash, I guess, drying rack. But what's really nice is this heavy cutting board that gives you that extra counter space that you need right there. Most of these units do not have burners like this. This is a full on range here, people. Nice oven down below. Usually all you're getting is like a hot plate or a little teeny burner, but full stove in this unit. I will admit it is a little low for the prep area. 5'2", right at the top of my leg. So for those tall people, maybe not the best unit for you. Has three little drawers. I mean, little drawers. <laughs> However, it's got those four good storage stash away some utensils that's all you need so in this area of course you've got your dinette area eating but you also have your sleeping area here as well table drops down flop your cushions over you've got your bed for the night also in your kind of your bedroom living you have this extra little table may it be extra guests kids uh extra prep area kind of nice right there. I want to point out these windows. You can see them all the way around the unit, giving you lots of extra light. They are fairly cool, these windows. Pop right open. They're on kind of a gas strut right there. And you can set them in place. Thank you, Dana White. You do notice that it is wide open but flip your screen up, save you from the bugs. And if you need to do a little resting with a dark shade, you can just drop that down as well. If you don't want either, pop it right back open. Let's focus on what is in the front of the trailer here. <laughs> Go right here, our fridge. Pretty decent size, really. Fridge freezer combination, of course, microwave up top, and I do want to focus up above as well. AC unit, you've got your max fan if you just want a little airflow. Coming into the bathroom, <laughs> basically just your wet bath where everything's all together and it's fine to get everything wet. Nice thing is you've got nice room. A nice little sitting area. <laughs> Actual room for your feet, those that are long legged as well. And you can also wash while you're, you know. <laughs> and the nice thing is, it does have a sink in here, so you don't have to compete with someone doing dishes or cooking with the main sink over there. Uh, I am 5'2, kind of low, but 
you know what? For this little of a trailer, having a bathroom is so nice. However, there's not a lot of privacy with this restroom. Just has a shower curtain, not a door, but like I mentioned, having a bathroom is so nice. Jesse's given the shower test. <laughs> Doing the shower test for you. I'm like 5'10", right around there, and I can, my head's touching. So, it's short, but, I mean, you could just, since it does have a, a wand, you can just sit down. Plenty of room then. When you have a trailer this size, you make do with what you have to. One other cool thing that Kara's failed to point out so far, is this whole floor looks like it could be washed out. Uh, it's all solid. I, I doubt you're supposed to, but if you got a little bit of water from your wet bath and on the other floor, you'd be fine. This trailer reminds me of basically a boat. Boat floor, boat storage, all of the fiberglass. It kind of has that nautical feel to it. <laughs> now that I've showed you the inside, let's take a look on the outside and see what's going on out there. It's not very often that we find a trailer that we haven't seen before. And we've never seen these, at least I haven't. I've seen something similar, you know, that sort of thing. Cortez campers never even heard of them. They give me the feeling of one of those old scamps. And I know for a little while, Airstream was making a fiberglass trailer like this. Now our bean is made out of fiberglass and it's a really good way to do it because there's not gonna be any water penetration with this. It's basically an upside down boat. And that, that's awesome because so many of us have fought water damage. When you buy RVs, the way they do their roofs sucks. And these, there's gonna be way less chance of water damage. Plus inside, the whole floor is like solid surface. So <laughs> there's not much to water damage really. Um, coming around though, starting right up here, we do have a power jack, which I mean, it's just nice. We could all sit and crank. It's not that big of a deal, but that's super nice unless your batteries are dead. Other than that, it's super nice. Um, two five gallon propane cans up here and you got your batteries right here as well night uh one thing care notice on this you do have access right here so that way you don't have to pull off this whole big plastic thing to turn on and off your propane the one downside with that i can see is i know i wouldn't screw this on all the way and going down the road it's gone but kind of a cool little idea i love the colors so we have the blue one right here and the green one they are the exact same. It's just, they're parked so close, we can't go down the right side of the green one, so we'll use them both. Uh, coming down the side here, you do have your gray water and your black water flush right here. Looking at the weight of the cargo, should never exceed 820 pounds. So not a lot, but let's see what the gross vehicle weight is. The gross vehicle weight rating is 3,500 pounds. That's pretty freaking light. Um, like our Bronco could tow this. I think most smaller SUVs and, you know, that sort of stuff like Explorers or um, like a Pilot, those sort of things would, would tow this just fine. Now, I don't know all your weights, so you'll have to check that, but that's what I'm guessing. 3,500 pounds, pretty light. Um, gross axle weight rating, because it only has one axle, is 3,500 pounds. Makes sense, since that's the weight rating. Uh, right here, you have your shore power, 30 amp. You don't need a 50 amp with a 17 foot single axle trailer. Nice little outlet right there. Uh, right here is for your furnace and it is running their 205 75R15s, but what's uh, load range D. I am not seeing a brand on them. The brand is high spec. I've never heard of those and I'm betting they're pretty cheap. <laughs> Coming down the side, you have your water connections. And as Kara said, the inside reminded her of boat. This does too. This water connection here. So this is your fresh water connection. Just reminds me of what you'd have on a boat here. But the fun part's always tucking in the little chain thing so you can screw it in. Kind of think more RV should have these things because I'm always losing the ends of all these little plugs and all that sort of stuff. 
Down here, you do have your leveling jacks. They are not powered, but you just hook your little impact wrench on there, or I guess if you have your lug wrench. Not, no, not a big deal because this thing doesn't sit very high. So pretty easy to do that. It's nice that it has the leveling jacks built on so you don't have to pack jacks with you. Now, this trailer is simple, but it does have a big awning right up here mounted on top, right up by your air conditioner. Which now, this fiberglass clam style construction, it worked years ago, it's gonna work today, and it's a really cool camper. If you're interested in one of these Cortez campers, uh, all the information's down below, the specs, all that sort of stuff, at the Paris RV website, and all the current prices. So check them out, they're kinda cool. And I have a spider web on my face. Look at that. I don't know if that shows up in the camera. That thing is huge. <laughs> so, yeah, spider webs all over me.